All right, Jana, this one's for you. Thank you for the comment of Jill in her pajamas. I guess it's better than no Jill at all. So, <laughs> thank you guys for taking the time to watch your March 2013 Gems video. Oh, I feel like I'm going to wake up. It's going to be November. <laughs> Where has the year gone already? I realize living in the land of perpetual sun has me very discombobulated over what time of year it is. So I um, you make a little sunburn today, actually. Got to start wearing sunscreen again. Oh, you guys, I'm so excited. I know many of you are watching this in the land where there isn't regular sun, and I'm super excited for March and what that brings. I typically, oh my gosh, April and May are typically two of my biggest months of the year, right behind, right behind October, November. Um, so as a combo, they are my second biggest combo month of the year retail-wise and uh, for that of our team as well. So we're super excited to be coming into this time of year. And I, a lot of you know, one of my biggest, biggest soapboxes in this business is where, where do you want to be? And how are you going to get there in this business that you get to decide what your business looks like and then make it happen. I know so many people that came into Premiere and worked it super, super hard and then for whatever reason fell off track with their business and rather than get it back on track or try to get it back on track, but it was a lot of work to get that train going again um, and opted to go back to full-time work and now reminding, remembering what it's like to do the day in and day out um, after that newness wears off, probably about week two or three <laughs> from that new job, the mundane of the every single day. And um, to this week is spring break for us and Matt and I both getting to be home with the kids every day. What are we going to do? Of course, getting a little work in there as well, but we get it's amazing. In an hour, my work is done for the day, and we get to enjoy the rest of the day with the kids. And what an incredible, incredible gift. And I know there's many of you frustrated with where your business is at. You did not come into Premiere to not succeed. I know that. And I am proud of you for taking the risk in yourself to do that. And I absolutely believe Without a doubt, you have what it takes to be successful in this business. Uh, you would not have invested $1,200 most likely in yourself if you didn't have what it took, um, if you weren't a little bit of a risk taker, weren't ready to push yourself past where you thought you could go, and it is absolutely worth it. I want to remind you that it is worth the time and energy to get this train going again. And so I want to inspire you a little bit. Um, again, April and May, right around the corner here, girls. It is huge. There is something about that change of season and all the spring colors. And you walk. I, mean, I could barely find a parking spot at the mall today. It was packed. Um, now, I will give you all of Texas has spring break at the same time. I'm not quite sure who came up with that idea. But all of Texas has spring break at the same time. And so whether people were just out shopping, having fun at spring break kind of thing. I can barely find a parking spot at the mall. They are they're spending money, girls, and they might as well be spending money with you, someone who's really going to take care of them and take care of their jewelry. I've never had a phone call from a department store after I had purchased something from them to see how it was doing and was I happy with it and did I want anything extra that went with it. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? So I think the other thing, we're in the final stretch before school's out, April and May. School's out and especially I think up north where every with a few good months, you know, great months of weather of the year, this girl's hit it, hit it and let's hit it hard. Um, spring break will be over with come April. Um, change of season, they're wanting something new. I know every single one of you are thinking, hmm, how can I update my wardrobe a little bit for spring? You're all thinking that. They're all thinking that. They might as well be with you. Um, so that goes to if we keep doing what you're doing you're going to keep getting what you're getting if you're loving the results don't change it don't follow the latest booking activity fad if keep doing what you're doing you're going to keep getting what you're getting that said if you don't like your results 
the definition of insanity is to think that it's going to change doing the same activities. So I want to inspire you to change it up. Ladies, I have restarted my business from scratch, absolute scratch, five times. A soft restart on the 6th because we moved an hour north in California from Alameda up to Fairfield and really had to shift my business north as well, but a hard five times completely new area. And there is something very, um, uh, what's the word, hard, hard about doing that. Oh my goodness, girls, I tell you, if I can do it with my seven kids and everything else going on in my life, every single one of you can do that, especially if you haven't had to completely move and start from ground zero. But if you feel like I've burned through all my contacts, everyone I know, everyone has told me they're not interested, then it's just like you've moved and you're starting from ground zero. So what to do? Now, join a networking group. What a great way to get yourself into different circles and to help other people as well. I It's one of the first things that I did when I got here, the Hill Country Women in Business. Now, I will tell you, I have yet to have a lead from that group, but it's been a great way to just get in touch with the other people, the other business owners in the area, and I love it. We meet once a month. I love it. There's a lot of networking groups that meet once a week. What a great way to join a women's networking group. So at least every week or every month you're around women who are running a business and want to present that business image as well. Um, joining new groups. In addition, every time I've moved, of course, I have to <laughs> any group I join is a new group that I'm joining. And so put yourself into some new groups. Have you wanted to learn a new hobby? Um, something new, I join a new Bible study, um, all kinds of new stuff out there, new quilting club, a new, I'm completely drawing a blank now, but all kinds of a new, a new bunco group um, kind of thing. So get yourself into some new groups. What's the first thing people ask you when they meet you after your name? What do you do? So what do you do? And make sure you know how to answer that. Um, I'm a stay-at-home mom with seven kids. Oh, great, Jill. So know what you're going to say. Oh, my gosh, I love it. I get to stay home with my kids because I have a business. I work out of the home, and I get to help women feel beautiful and special through some fabulous jewelry, which, of course, you're wearing. But not too much, so you don't look like you're wearing your entire jewelry kit all at one time. Um, mystery hostess shows. That is my favorite, favorite way to get my business restarted. Um, those of you who know me, I, I am not a walk up to a stranger in the mall and say, oh my gosh, I love your jewelry. Do you want to have a party with me? have never done that. I did book a show one time in a nail salon and she and I sat and chatted for the 45 minutes getting our nails done. Go to a different nail salon. What a great way to meet people. Um, that's another idea right there. But um, that one time in my 15, 14 and a half years in Premier have I booked a party with a complete stranger. So typically it's the so what do you do, getting to know people, and I every month mystery host a show on my calendar until I have as many shows on my calendar as I want from there on out. And any month I don't have as many shows as I want, I schedule a mystery host a show. It's an incredible way to push yourself to meeting new people that you can invite to these shows, getting yourself out. Of course, there's going to be people who can't make last month's show that you can reinvite to this month's show, being strategic, thinking about circles that you're in and not just inviting the entire Bible study, which you can, but if the entire Bible study comes, only one of them is going to book, which is not the end of the world. It's still moving your business forward. One is better than zero. But really trying to think of three or four different circles that you can get one person there from, ideally getting three or four bookings. And that's why I typically find at my mystery hostess shows, I'll have three or four people come, and I'll get three or four bookings um, from that group because they look around and say, this is easy, this is duplicable. All I do is throw on a tray of brownies and I'm um, actually going to do peach iced tea for my mystery hostess show tomorrow night as well with that. So if you are frustrated and discouraged because you're making tons and tons of phone calls and no one is calling you back, 
three and a half years I was in Premier before I ever had a phone call back. And she actually called me back to say she wasn't interested and to take her off the list. So, ladies, they're not going to call you back and that is okay. This is your job. Having a party is something fun for her to do. So she, she comes home. She's had a busy day. She's checking her voicemails. Oh my goodness, I have to get back to th these three people. These four other people are just going to have to wait. And you always get put in the wait pile. It's okay. It's the nature of this business. Do not take it personal. It doesn't mean she doesn't want to talk to you. It doesn't mean she doesn't want to have a party with you. It doesn't mean she doesn't like your jewelry. It just means she's busy right now. And we want to work with busy people. Busy people know the most people. She's involved in all these different groups and eventually you're going to cross the dot with her and it is going to be an off the chart party. Do not get discouraged. Every two to three weeks, pick up that phone, check in with her again, shoot her a text, shoot her an email until she asks you to stop calling her. And that gal was a very, very sweet, very nice. Jill, I'm just not interested right now, but thanks so much for calling me. She actually didn't ask me to take her off, her, off the list, just that she wasn't interested right now. Isn't that fabulous? So do not get discouraged if people don't call you back. In fact, I don't even ask them to call me back. Hey, did Jill Ross, the jewelry lady, just checking in with you. We chatted about maybe getting on my calendar for the spring. It's around the corner, Susie. I've got a great hostess special going on for April. If Premier doesn't have an extra bonus, guess what? You have an extra bonus. Give her a reason to get on your calendar now. I am offering, it's ring in the spring special. Any ring is $10 if you host a party in April. I'm not fun. Something, some incentive to get her to call you back now or get her to get on your calendar now as opposed to later. And then, of course, it's the off chance that she'll give you a call back as well. So ladies, I know you can do it. I know you want to do it. What I really want you to do right now is to take a look at your April and decide how many shows do I want to have in April. Maybe there's zero on that calendar. You could put 10 on there if you wanted to. I know you could. I absolutely know you could. And depending on how bad you needed those 10. Could you imagine at $200 a show adding $2,000 to your budget next month? That's incredible, you guys. Where else can you get a $2,000 raise in one month? That's pretty, pretty stinking phenomenal. I used to work all summer in the strawberry fields, and I'd make $500. And I'd be so excited and think it was all this money. And I'd go school, clo school clothes shopping, and it would be gone before lunch. Even back in the 80s, <laughs> it was gone before lunch for that. So... Girls, take a look at your April calendar. Where do you want it to be? And decide what that number is going to look like. And your March challenge, your Gems March challenge, is to hit, get the number of shows on your calendar that you want to get on your calendar. And you've got a good two weeks to make that happen right now and uh, getting on the phone getting a mystery hostess show booked between now and then my favorite mystery hostess show they only need a three or four day advance notice anyway if they are free they're free they're not going to change their plans to come to your mystery hostess show so she's either available or she's not available so whether you set it 14 months in advance or 14 hours in advance in fact those are the best ones because oh yeah sure i'm not doing anything friday night i'll come and it's already, it's the reminder phone call because it's tomorrow night for that. So, girl, you, good, girl, you can have a mystery hostess show on Saturday night. You can plan it tomorrow and have a mystery hostess show Saturday night. Wouldn't that be so much fun? Three or four bookings for April, bam, bam, you're there out the door ready to go. Oh, you guys, I'm so excited for you. I totally know you can do this. I'm super, no, I'm super jazzed. So, you ready? Again, one last time, the March Gems Challenge is to reach the goal number of shows you have for April. You get to decide what that number is, and then you get to let me know that you hit it. So, Jill, my goal was two shows for April, and I got the two shows for April. And you will go in a drawing by one of my lovely little assistants to uh, get your uh, win our March Gems Challenge. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. I look at, I don't even wear jewelry in my pajamas. I'm not even a ring. 
Oh wait, I have my little faith ring. Oh. <laughs> Not even jewelry. You guys are so gracious. I love you. I'm. Oh my goodness, I just envision you all sitting there right on the other side of the computer, just enjoying your day. So God bless you. Have a fabulous, fabulous rest of your March. Thank you so much, Brooke, for reminding me that there's people that watch these videos, even if it's just you and Jana. <laughs> I love you guys. Mwah!